Hello, my name is Dana Price, Amber Dog Productions. I wanted to do a quick video, uh, kind of showing uh, this particular bike. This is the Aventon Adventure, or Adventure, excuse me. And um, I kind of wanted to give a quick rundown about how I've equipped it for my needs, for my uh, YouTube channel. And um, besides just recreational riding, which I've done a few times, um, I've specifically set this thing up to be able to help me uh, carry camera gear and equipment to get me to areas that uh, I can't, you know, necessarily walk to. It's just too far carrying equipment. As well as being able to um, take my, like for example, the Oru kayak in a backpack form. Sure, I can hike that in, but I can only go really so far. And uh, in this particular case, um, I can put it on my back and the bottom of the kayak, the fold up kayak, is able to kind of rest here on the back of this. And that really is gonna help me quite a bit in those situations where I need that. Um, so there are a few things I added onto this bike. Um, one being the front rack uh, is typically thus far, that's where I take uh, one of my drones. It, it, the case fits this precisely and I have a tie down strap. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. And uh, this particular bike, it came with the rear rack. I did add the saddlebags. I bought some decent saddlebags with a uh, rain skirt for them, should I need it, but they're already pretty waterproof. I did upgrade the seat to a Bikeroo seat. However, I will point out that the stock seat on these is pretty good. Um, no, no complaints with a stock seat. Um, I just decided I wanted to go ahead and upgrade it. I had the opportunity, so I took advantage of that. Uh, I've added a phone mount. I'll show you these things individually here a little more up close. Phone mount, a TPI unit, and if you don't know what a TPI unit is, it's a tire pressure indicator. Um, it comes factory with the headlight and the dashboard, which shows you all of your, you know, your battery charge uh, distance and, and uh, your settings for where you're at. I've also added uh, this RAM mount here, which I use to uh, typically hold my 360, my Insta360 X3. Um, which really comes in handy because it reduces the amount of camera gear you really need to be carrying around for this. Um, as you may or may not know, a 360 camera, it, uh, it films everything in a giant globe. So uh, you can take this one particular camera here and you can film everything at once. And then at post, when you come back, sorry about the airplane, when you come back into post, you can then pick and choose what exactly it is you want to uh, have in your video. Added a side view mirror. Um, I was a little hesitant about that. Uh, however, uh, it turned out I'm glad I did. Um, not just for recreational riding, but uh, it helps me keep track of fellow riders that are behind me, uh, as well as uh, when I do ride it recreationally, I'm able to kind of use it as an additional tool to keep track of vehicles that might be coming up behind me or things like that. So I really, you know, I've kind of become a believer in, in these uh, rear view mirrors for these bikes. So side view mirrors, so yeah. And I've also added a lock here. I have a second one, I can chain them together. Uh, you gotta have a lock, you know, uh, with these bikes, you definitely want a lock. But all in all, I'll say that this particular bike, it is serving me well. Uh, I would suggest downloading the app if you happen to get an, an Adventon. Uh, their app is pretty good. It shows you all kinds of information and uh, fellow riders and just stats and data and keep track of, you know, your calories. And it's just a, it's a, it's a geek fest is what it really is, but it is pretty handy as well. I also added right here is a mount that uh, I can take from my, in this case, my DJI Mavic Mini Pro 3, I can mount the controller right here. So if I want to do some follow me shots or something like that, um, I just mount the, the uh, controller right there and go. And uh, I can sit here like a little TV screen, I can monitor everything it's doing. So um, I'll go ahead and grab the camera there and I'll do a walk around and show you these things a little bit, a little more up close. And um, we'll kind of take it from there, all right? Okay, so starting up front as we discussed, uh, here is the rack that uh, I purchased from Aventon, and uh, it says it holds uh, 20 pounds, it says right there. Um, it is a really solid rack. I also use it in the back of my truck to cross tie it to the left and right. So I'll oppose, I'll put a hook here and run it this way, 
and a hook here and run it that way up in the uh, bed of my truck. And in so doing, it locks it down. You'll notice that it stays stationary no matter what the uh, tire is doing. So it really locks this thing down really well. Uh, another thing too is it locks down, as you can see right here, with uh, four bolts that actually go right to the frame and it is a free floating. So you can see that it free floats right up in here. So that's, that's pretty neat. It's actually part of the frame. It does not turn with your wheels. And I found that to be very, very handy. Um, okay. Uh, if you don't know already, these are an eight speed from the factory. So you have your upshift and under here you have your downshift. They have hydraulic disc brakes. And here is a phone mount. I have found this one to be literally bulletproof. Uh, it holds my phone even in a wallet case very nicely. And on the underside of it, so when you put your phone in it, under here, there's a lock lever. And so you put your phone in it and you can lock it. And it will not let go of that phone. It's on a ram ball mount and it adjusts to any size bar that you need. So motorcycles, bicycles, whatever. And uh, that thing, man, I've been down some nasty stuff and, and no problem. Actually, to be honest with this, last time I took it out, oddly enough, uh, I was going over all kinds of just huge roots and stuff like that and I had forgotten to lock it and it still didn't let go. The spring tension alone and the rubber feet up inside of it here uh, were more than enough to hold it steady and no problem. Uh, over here is my TPI unit. Okay, so you turn it on. And so, so right here it shows the front tire, front wheel, FW, is uh, sitting at 21 pounds. It's at 84 degrees. So that's, and the rear wheel is at 24 pounds, 86 degrees. Okay, rear wheel. And there on the, to the right of the clock, it's, it shows your battery indicator for the unit itself. It is fully programmable. You can set high and low limits to uh, your tire pressure and it will sound an alarm if you dip down below that and you push and hold to turn it off. Okay, and here's the factory dashboard. So if I reach down here on the side and turn the power on like that and then you push and hold this button in the middle, power button, the dashboard lights up and then it shows you your uh, main battery charge, your miles per hour, and other data down here. And if you move this up, it changes your your uh, assist mode from off to eco to tour to sport to turbo. And then there's also a walk mode uh, if you need to walk alongside it. You know, and you're having a hard time going up a hill. And this here is your thumb throttle. So make sure that's off. <laughs> and this is your thumb throttle. Okay. And here's that mount I was telling you about for the uh, DJI controller that I use. It mounts right here. It's fully adjustable and easy to quick release takeoff if you need to. And um, there is the side view mirror with the brand that I purchased. I purchased this off of Amazon. And it, has, it's, it goes on left or right. It uh, mounts pretty easily. Right under here is an Allen set screw. Let's see if I can get that in frame. Yeah. So there's an Allen set screw up inside there and you just tighten that and, and what it does, it flares out the end and locks on and it's on a ball socket right back here. So you can adjust it however you like. Left or right is an ambidextrous system. Uh, and here is the ram mount right here on a ball. Two, there's a ball on each end and you can loosen that right here. It allows you to twist and turn this however, however you want. And I found it to be very useful depending on if I'm filming standard like this, you know, or if I'm needing to use this as essentially a tripod. I, it, it's not, you know, going to be at a weird angle. I can level it out uh, and, and do, you know, personal filming all by myself with just this holding it. So, and the factory head uh, headlight is right here. This uh, crossbar, I also added this, an accessory rail uh, from KB Brotech or K Brotech, I added that on, and that just gave me an extra place to mount some things because uh, obviously I was running out of handlebar space. 
Uh, here's a little ratchet strap. These are three foot ratchet straps, uh, or not ratchet, they're kind of cinch straps. And uh, I've only needed to use one of these to hold my uh, drone case down and it has, man, it has held it firm. Okay. And here is a, now I use my water bottle mount for this. Uh, I also t sometimes mount a second lock right here. Right now it's in one of the saddlebags. And uh, it works, you know, it's, the, you, there are lots of types of uh, locks. You need to just do your own research and determine which ones, you know, gonna suit you best for your needs. And these saddlebags here, it's a love-hate relationship. Okay, these I got from Amazon as well. Uh, these are reflectors on the back. There's pockets all over. They're very durable. You got uh, uh, Velcro. They're really deep, and they work really well. All kinds of just compartments everywhere. Good clips, you know, clips on the sides, and uh, you know, vent. I keep my gloves in here and all kinds of stuff. They're great. The only thing I, that does bother me, and it's really not a big deal, it's just kind of a pet peeve, is that it uh, saddlebags block your taillights, which are right here. And uh, these have taillights turn signals on them. So you'll notice they, they have a tendency to just block that. The good news is they don't get into, you know, into uh, my uh, spokes or anything like that. I've not had any problems with that. So I need the storage capacity when I'm out much more then I need anything else. So, anyway, that's kind of what I do there. And uh, in here, I carry, in, in this one I carry tools, I carry a, a stand right here that you can flip the bike over and work on it, electrical connectors, random tools, and uh, another is my other lock, and a, an electric bike pump that you recharge. I keep that in there as well. And uh, there's the bike roo seat. Okay, so again, this is uh, Dana Price from Amber Dog Productions. If you have any questions about this particular bike or, uh, you know, where I got these parts to add on or even why I added them on, um, you know, drop a note in the comments. Um, I try to be as best as I possibly can to respond to any comments on any of my videos. So uh, feel free to drop one. Uh, and uh, check out my other videos. And uh, if you like them, click like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one, Hammerdog Productions. See ya.